In the fifth episode, we started with the true assembly of the engine and first step were the oil seals. Now we're going to start building the left engine case, so without further ado, let's hop into the video. Now it's time to put in the different shafts into the engine. We start with the secondary shaft. To put it in with uh, very easily, I heat up the, the bore a little bit. And when I'm done, when it's kind of hot, ow, then I can put in the, the secondary shaft. Ooh, be aware, don't lose your needles. Two seconds later. Okay, some needles um, are left over. I have to put inside back. After the secondary shaft is in, inside the case, I secure it with this um, sheet metal plate and the thick washer. I apply it only loosely. I will tighten it when the other side of the case is also assembled. So I have no forces on it. Okay, let's mount the main shaft. Make sure when you pull in the main shaft that all gears are um, within the other gears because sometimes they get on their peaks, tips together and then it cannot slip anymore. So if you move it a little bit up and down then it becomes getting easier again. Now the last shaft to, to be put in the engine case is the crankshaft. Be careful with the oil seal Okay. Uh, now it's time to put the right hand side to the left hand side and make the engine a hole. For this we need the gasket. I apply some loop here. And the gasket I'm always mounting with grease. Um, some guys do, some guys don't. I do. And I will lay down the gasket on the, on the, le on the right hand side of the engine because it has this small edge here where it's centered. Next thing, the kickstart pinion gear and the, the spring is mounted like this. The kickstart gear is mounted like this and it stays in, the, in this half of the engine without um, any fixation more or less. Now I can put it together. Did you hear the noise? It was the kickstart gear which was mm, that was smooth wasn't it the long bolt um, I suppose to put in with a lot of grease because it always gets rusty and sometimes it's impossible to disassemble this bolt and with a lot of grease you can avoid it for a few years. The long bolt is also the one where these, this guide for the cables uh, is clamped on. All the 12 um, screws are applied, one, two on the cylinder base gasket, four for the crankcase and one, two, three, four, five, six for the gearbox. Now we have to tighten it with um, 18 Newton meters. I adjust it to 15 Newton meters the first time. We're gonna take the center screws of the crankcase. After the crankcase, I proceed to the gearbox screws. For the final tightening, I turn to 18 Newton meters. Mm. 
Once the engine case is closed, it's time for a first check if the crankshaft is rotating freely um, with all the grease inside, so it's not really easy, but it's okay. Um, and also take the kickstart and test. But this sounds very good. Um, most of the time when assembling the two halves, they stop uh, like almost a centimeter before the they are really closed. In this case, you need to apply the kickstart lever, um, actuate a little bit and then the kickstart pinion gear makes clonk and then after that it runs together. It closes it itself. Next thing we can do is the oil seal on the flywheel side. Apply here with, with hand force and then um, again use the puller tool Okay, next thing and the last thing on this side of the engine to be done is the mounting of the gear selector. Take the gasket. And to mount the gear selector, I turn it to the fourth gear and maybe a little bit more and put the key to the slot and then turn it uh, and then it, it slides onto the screws. To shift the gears I can use a usual screwdriver. Yes, passt sich gut. Alrighty, next part is the mounting of the clutch. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Plus activate the bell so you won't miss out on any future projects.